welcome back to another tutorial on Adobe Lightroom version 4. Uh, today we're going to take a look at the print module and how to set up Lightroom to allow you to print larger images. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to jump over here into the print module and you're going to see that on the left side you have an 8.5 by 11 sheet. So what do you want to do whenever you have a larger image that you want to print. Um, I do a lot of larger prints like 8.5 by 11 that won't cover it so I have to do like 20 by 30s, um, 11 by 15s, whatever the case may be. So there's a, a little work through we're going to have to go through to try to set up so you can use the larger prints. So first things first we have to get out of the Lightroom and go to our start windows um, and then we have to go to devices and printers. We have to add a printer. So we're going to have to click add the printer. We have two options here. We're going to click on add a local printer. The LPT1 port is fine. This is a ghost, so it really doesn't matter. And hit the next. And the install printer, you have a, a lot of different options to use under the manufacturer but what we're going to use is the one that says generic and then MS publisher image setter is the image that we're going to use and then click next uh, we're going to use in the recommended drivers to install it printer name we can change this we can change this to say Lightroom printer and hit next and then we're going to share this with everybody on the computers is fine and then where it says set as the default printer, make sure this is unchecked. We do not want this. And then just hit finish. So now you have your other printer right here that we're going to be using. But your default printer is the one that you use every day. So we can now close this. Now, the step through in Lightroom, we're going to have to go through and tell Lightroom it's okay to use this printer. And how to do that is down at the left-hand corner under page setup. We have to change this printer from your default printer to the one that we just made says Lightroom printer. Um, paper size, we have to change this paper size to say PostScript custom page set, uh, size. Automatic is okay for the source that we're going to use it. And then under the orientation, we're going to click landscape. We want this turned on its side. Now you have to go under the properties. You can see that it does say that we're on the landscape. Page order, front to back is fine. Uh, pages per sheet is okay as one. But we here's where we have to change. We have to go into the advanced settings. Under paper size, it says postscript custom page size. We have to click on it, it says edit custom page size. Here's your dimensions. Now we can make this anywhere from uh, one inch by one inch all the way up to 43 and a half by 34. So I'm working on a, a 20 by 30. So I'm going to change this, use the keypad to say 20 by 30. And then hit OK. And then you have to hit OK to get out of the print setup. And now you can see we have a large area to work with, a 20 by 30 landscape. So now you have to build your template. And this is how to do it. Um, we're going to use one of the templates that came with Lightroom, but we're going to adjust it to our need. So what we're going to do, it's got four cells in it. So under the right side, under your uh, grids, rulers, and, and guides, we want to make sure we have the rulers checked, which is the size of the image, the 20 by 30. Page grid, this will help you line the images the way that you make sure they're all exactly straight image cell and dimensions we want all of these checked page bleed we don't really need um, now it says grid snap we want this to say change it from off to say cells so what we're going to do is we're going to build this real quick by just dragging the first one out to the max okay which will cover the entire image these we're just going to move over so we have room to work on the first cell that we're going to make now, the trick here is we're going to try to use three of the exact same size cells. Well, how do you do that? 
Well, the key is here, you have to take an image and just drag it up into the slot you're working on. And now you're going to see your dimensions show up in the image itself. So this is how you get to use in each one, make sure they're the exact same size. So we know we're working on a 20 by 30 sheet. So we're going to try to make these all three kind of spaced out equally across the image so that we can, you know, get a good look if we wanted to use an image that say that you would put, you know, the front, the back, and the middle and have it look like one image that's separated by the, you know, uh, the lines that you're going to leave. So what we're going to do is we're going to take, I want to make this a little bit bigger. So I'm going to, I want this to be about 8.25 or there close to. So I just drag it from the side will give us the dimension. And then for the height here, I want it around 18 inches. So we're just going to take and drag this to, let's say, 18.067. And then we're going to place it right there. So now we want all three images, our cells, to be the same size. And, and this is where it gets confusing, but it's it, once you've done it once or twice, it's not that hard. So we're just going to drag another image up into the second cell. And remember, now we have the grid snap set to cells. So what you have to do to get this to fit, they're all exactly the same, drag this over into this over top of this cell, and then just drag the corner up, and you'll see it'll snap to the size of the, the cell itself. And when it snaps in there, you now have the exact same image or exact same size as far as the cell goes. And, and that's the trick. Um, without an image in there, you can't see the size to make sure they're all exactly the same. So you have to just drag it, a single image up into it to get that, okay? So same thing. Now we're going to just drag this over on top of the, the one we just created. And then just drag it up. And now we have all three sizes exactly the same. Okay? And that is the trick. So what you have to do now is it's up to you how you want to look at your workflow. Um, you can put the background color now to black. Um, you can still see the red cells. But at this point, I can normally turn off the page grid. And then you have a... A preview on the left side that will show you what the image kind of looks like as just the outline of the image. So what you have to do at this point is you have to go to the top of your template browser and click on the little plus. We're going to have to create a, our own template so we can just go back to it and use it as we need it. So this one I'm going to call a 3x3 three three landscape. And then it'll be under the user templates. I'm going to have to hit create. And so now under the uh, user templates, we have this template selected for us. And that's how you do it. So once you've worked with them a, few, a little bit, you can now change these any way you want. You know, start building a collection that you use for your clients or for yourself. So if you have any questions on this video or how we step through these process, uh, please send us an email and we'll get back to you as quickly as possible. It's not that hard. You just have to, just have to work around some things that they didn't make real easy for us. But um, it's just a, you have to install the printer first and it's just a ghost printer. So go ahead and install the ghost printer and then we can start building your, your templates however you like. Whether you want to use 2x3, you know, 3x4, three, three by 5x5s. Five by however you want it to look, but that's how you do it. So I hope this helps, and then whenever you're ready to print <clears throat> print this image, let's say you want to print it to um, something like, say you can print it out and send it to a printer, then the next thing would be is you have to come all the way down here um, where it says print job, and say, instead of saying print to JPEG, you, you know that's what I have selected because if it has printer selected, you cannot export it so that you can actually send the file over to your printer. So make sure that at the very last thing you do is you would hit print to file and change this to a JPEG. And then when you hit print to file down here, you can now place this. We're just going to call this landscape test. We're going to place it on the desktop so it makes it really easy to find and hit save. Now Lightroom renders the image, sends it over, uh, so you can actually now email this to your local printer or whoever's going to do the work for you. Um, that, that's all you have to do. So I hope this video helps. Um, you know, it's not that hard. 
and like I say, you just have to a few simple steps to get to uh, making the images as large as you want. Uh, like I said, because they're going to give you everything that is uh, eight, eight and a half by eleven, because that's your basic printer size paper. So, if you have any questions, again, send us an email, and I hope this helps. Thank you very much.